I I've been here long enough to know how how things change immediately. Yeah. You know, uh, Warren Buffet always always said this thing. You know, it takes a lifetime to build a reputation, and it takes five minutes to blow it up. I I come from television, especially at a time when uh, there was this clear demarcation between film actors and TV actors. But I was welcomed with open arms. And I would literally be for like two seconds, be telling, "How did you walk up to me? Yeah. Like, who am I?" So it's I've had those moments where really big, big people have congratulated me. People have been very generous. Like I'm talking about Balika. Balika Vadhu, yeah. So Balika Vadhu was was widely received by the whole country, yeah. and, you know, and the neighboring countries as well. In fact. Hello everyone this is Aina and welcome to Instant Bollywood today's interview is a little special and this win feels a little more personal to us audiences joining me in a conversation is Vikrant Masi and Meeta Shankar so nice to have you all and big big congratulations i'm sure uh, the country feels so proud and happy at this point of time and the win feels very personal what oh, do you all have to say thank you thank so you kind so of you to say that yeah you. genuinely Uh, you know, uh, जब ट्वेल्थ फेल आई थी एंड ओ टी टी पे एंड फिल्म पे हर एक सेलेब्रिटी के स्टोरी पे वो अप्रिसिएशन था द बिगेस्ट ऑफ सेलेब्रिटीज अवॉर्ड आई रियली वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द स्टेट ऑफ माइंड वो तो यूर है जस्ट बी ऑन ग्रेटफुल आई वुड से बिकॉज दिस हेज बिन सरियल इट्स नॉट जस्ट अ सक्सेसफुल फिल्म बट इट्स इट्स रियली टक डैट पीपल्स हार्ट स्ट्रिंग्स एंड like you said all celebrities everybody not just the audiences but everybody from the fraternity mm-hmm. has uh, come out in uh, support and given mm-hmm. love to our film and that's just so special what about you i think yeah i think it's the same it's been phenomenal mm-hmm. we always knew we had a good film in our hands but we really didn't anticipate this kind of reception mm-hmm. to be celebrating silver jubilee 25 yeah in the year 2024 where you actually very seldom get to hear mm-hmm. uh, yeah. you know feats like these So to have one of your own, I think it's it's an incredible feeling. It's it's beyond grateful. Is what what Medha said. You know, Vikrant, I have to ask you. This film has not only been loved for the content and the performances, but also, आज के ज़माने में box office has become such a big yes. deal and such a uh, you know big thing that you've always spoken about how being humble and humility is extremely important to you. Mm-hmm. But after everything going so right, how do you still manage to be this humble or maintain that humility? Because humanly, तो वो हो जाता है यार कि dude, I'm really killing it. <laughs> yeah matlab i i i do feel that you know i i don't deny it you know there are moments you know when i'm home in my own safe space you know my wife and i talk about it we even celebrate it uh, but i think everything is so transient it's, life itself is so transient kuch permanent hai nahi yahan pe everything that is today will become yesterday tomorrow yeah and uh, so also especially in the movie business everything is so temporary that the moment you start taking it seriously you know life automatically shows you the experience a completely opposite experience so i i don't take these things very seriously really even now i mean in a way i actually just begun you know box office for me also you know i've just experienced it like 6 months ago mm. and it's something very nascent for me as well so i don't know if i if i if i sort of have similar experiences say maybe you know 10 films or 12 films and then maybe Hmm. I might see things in a different light, but I hope not. Hmm. Very honestly, you know, because I I I've been here long enough to know how how things change immediately. Yeah. You know, uh, Warren Buffet always always said this thing. You know, it takes a lifetime to build a reputation, and it takes five minutes to blow it up. That's true. And similarly, in our case, you know, in, in the world of uh, movie making. You know, so it, it could take you a lifetime to build a reputation, and you know, it it could just take and some of and you know for example some of the greatest things are achieved are you know the good things take a lot of computing you know it takes mm. time mm. but disasters and bad things happen in an instant right so i know that fact very very well so yeah. i try to always remind myself of this reality i think we la- the last time we spoke aapne kaha tha is bare mein especially because you've seen it so closely yeah. uh, that your family also faced up sab kuch tha and then yeah. one day there was nothing and then you know how you had to rebuild so i think it stems from i think that's there. the uncertainty of life in itself right i think uh-huh. these are universal things you know aap ab duniya ke kisi bhi kone mein jayenge there are certain common human experiences which are universal mm-hmm. so 
yeah, I mean, I rejoice. I, I, I'm really happy that our film has done so well. People have lapped onto it. Uh, you know, it's, it's one thing that I, I secretly prayed for. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. For example, to win a film for Best Actor Award. I think mm-hmm. it was my biggest dream. Yes. But having said that, you know, I'm just as good as my last film. So the idea is to cherish it, enjoy it, mm-hmm. but also, you know, prepare myself and better myself as an actor. You know, uh, the reason I said that, you know, we are so proud is because this film jo hai is crossing borders and people are appreciating yeah. it yeah. without even understanding yeah. our language yeah. and, you know, uh, loving it for the content. Is that the most gratifying feeling ever? It is because when your film crosses boundaries and mm-hmm. crosses languages, all barriers and it's resonating with every single person because yeah. at the end of the day, this story is a very human story like Vikran just said mm-hmm. and every single person is going to resonate with this and that's what's been happening and that's that's what I think the intention of Vidhu sir is when he's trying to take it to a larger audience mm-hmm. across borders that you know this how it's helped the mm-hmm. people of our country to mm-hmm. find their motivation again and be inspired again. Every single person should you know, get to see that and get to feel that. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. You know, it's a very honest question. Uh, industry attitude has changed. <laughs> In my case, I think people have been very generous. They've been very kind all throughout. Hmm. You know, I come from television and I, I come from television, especially at a time when there was this clear demarcation between film actors and TV actors. But I was welcomed with open arms. Hmm. Uh, I, I was instantly appreciated from my first film itself. Hmm. And uh, the filmmaking fraternity, I've always said this thing, it's the most democratic, it's the most robust community of of wonderful people. Mm. And if you're good at your job, if you're sincere with what you do, you know, they embrace you. Mm. And uh, so attitudes haven't changed. In mm. fact, you know, as I said, they've been very kind to me. You know, my 10-year journey has been very fruitful. So peop- a lot more people uh, sort of uh, reaching out, hmm. but you know, warm as ever. It's the same. What about you, Mary? See, this is my first film, so this is my first experience with everybody, as you call the industry. And yeah. I must say, people have been very kind, yeah. very, very kind to me. People have literally walked up to me to appreciate my work, saying, Ki, "What a great job you've done. We love the film." And I would literally be for like two seconds, be spelling, "How did you walk up to me? Yeah. Like, who am I?" So it's I've had those moments where really big, big people have congratulated me, given me calls. So it's been I I'm just like very surprised because people have been very, very kind to me. That's lovely. Yeah. And it's good to hear that you know it's been a s- s- sweet journey. Uh, Vikrant, I said that you know I've rejected a uh, lot even though the money was big. But as an actor, like we were even discussing off camera, it's difficult that you have acting ke saath, jo perks and peripherals that you mm. ignore. Karo. Mm. Sometimes you can't sway that yeah. this yeah. is fame mil hai, recognition mil hai, ya is bandi ke saath kaam karne ko mil hai, or there is a good enough money how do you ignore those factors and purely go for your passion yeah the answer remains the same you know the thing is ki sab kuch itna temporary hai ya. to get swayed by perks is is so foolish for example there are so many makers who come out to you kyunki unki bhi aadat hai logo ne kharab kar rakhi hai they reach hmm. out to you saying ki are hum london mein shoot kar rahe hain 2 mahina london mein rahenge <laughs> hmm. तो उनको लगता है कि वो लंदन बेचेंगे हमें तो हम उनके साथ चले जाएंगे हां हम्म आप फिल्म क्या बना रहे हो वो ज्यादा मैटर करता है सो फॉर समबडी गोइंग टू लंदन एंड स्टेइंग देयर फॉर 2 मंथ्स विदाउट टेकिंग आउट अ सिंगल पेनी फ्रॉम योर पॉकेट इज प्रायोरिटी या फॉर मी दैट इज नॉट प्रायोरिटी सो वो प्रायोरिटी पे भी डिपेंड करता है एंड माय प्रायोरिटी इज टू गो आउट देयर एंड टेल गुड स्टोरीज एंड यू नो चैलेंज माय सेल्फ एज एन एक्टर आई I make enough money to live a very satisfying life. Hmm. And Ati ka to ant hai nahi. To kitna hi paisa kama ke sona utna hi hai, khana utna hi hai, pehenna wahi hai. To wo sabki personal and isme koi galat nahi hota hai agar koi aisa karta bhi hai to it's something that is not work for me. Wo mere liye work nahi karta hai. So that's what it is. Like he said, I think it's a it's a personal choice. Like I would mm. speak for myself, I'm not attracted to the peripherals only. Mm. I am openly and wholly attracted to the craft of acting only. So for me, that's the that's what primary intention is. Ki acha ye chahiye. Other mm. things I'm not even drawn to. Mm. So whatever I do, sometimes it's because you're public figure. You have to yeah. make appearances. You know, meet people, go to events, and do all of those things, and that's fine. But if it reaches beyond a point, I have the uh, choice to be like, listen, this this only this much I can do. Mm. So. So, so yeah, I don't find myself in that 
you know fix in that sense that oh you're attracted mm. because i'm not attracted to those things only so like he think. said london may uh, somebody tells me that i will like acha so <laughs> <laughs> because i would like why how is that a point of discussion True. Uh, yeah True. no meeda last time we spoke uh, so she told me ki when things weren't working and she was auditioning she wouldn't treat herself like bahar nahi jati thi mm. because oh, yeah. you know she would feel like i don't deserve to go out unless and until i do She's something well yeah, yeah, no, yeah are yeah. you treating yourself well now <laughs> yeah you... i'm a bit kinder to myself now <laughs> yeah i don't know no i'm enjoying myself i i've taken trips which i hadn't taken like in like how many years yeah. in the beginning but ha huh, but also i think uh, that's just who i am i think if you if you have the courage to dream so big you better like pull up your socks and be ready to work that hard also because i don't think you'll get to achieve that dream or like materialize that dream just like that sitting at home you have to be a bit hard yeah. on yourself i feel i'm not so i'm not suggesting this to anybody else i'm going to do what works for you but yeah in my journey when i was struggling over whatever journey you call it i was very hard on myself i'm now easier on <laughs> myself <laughs> not like easy that i'm chilling oh life is great i've come i've arrived it's not that i'm still yeah. decently hard on myself but yeah, i'm taking it easy now <laughs> but you know uh, there's a very strong messaging about restarting your life and you know having hopes in life through this film hope ek aisi cheez hai na especially ek actor ke life mein bahut important hota hai ki ek din ye chalega ek din ye chalega aur wo journey jo hai hope tak ki i feel sabse difficult yeah. journey hai because negativity bhi aati hai negative thoughts bhi aata hai and you have to fight those mm. before 12th fail happened uh how have you all fought those thoughts when it came to you know ki will i ever make it will this ever work out for me because it's such an unpredictable career it's a it's a constant internal dialogue that keeps on going on inside your head i feel and this is like the this motto of a film is restart mm. and like we do sir always used to say that you restart every single day mm. every day you wake up it's a restart moment because not every day is going to be the same right now we're enjoying the success we still have to work as hard to get another film right mm. so uh, even during those times like there's a lot of self doubt that creeps in there's a lot of this i this is not fair why did i not get this all mm. of that happens and it's such a long period yeah i mean like 5 years 6 years you're not getting anything that you deserve you're playing second leads you're doing this or you die. you know what you are worth and you're not getting that so it is frustrating but that's the whole point you have to be calm mm. just be calm be at it be sincere if you're doing the right things if you're focusing on the, on the right things i truly believe that that god blesses you with things yeah what about you how did you fight hope i think i'm a very optimistic person mm. anyway in life you mm. know so uh, i i look at you know the smaller margins you know i i rejoice the smaller victories again you know it it, it takes a lot of it's an accumulative thing you know success yeah. is an accumulative things of so many so many things mm. So I rejoice my smaller victories, and uh, yeah, I think backing yourself, as she said, you know, you have to back yourself. If you don't back yourself, uh, nobody else will. Yeah. And everything that we do is entirely dependent on the other person, which is the audience in this case. Yeah. If if I am skeptical about my own self, I think it's bound to reflect in the work I do and the way I carry myself. So yeah. the idea is to back yourself and be consistent. But I've also been very lucky. like even during my early television days i i was a part of a show which was so massive that people have been very generous like i'm talking about balika balika like vadhu yeah so balika vadhu was was widely received by the whole country yeah. and, you know and the neighboring countries as well in fact you know it was a pretty in the subcontinent itself it was a very big show so i've i've had my small bits of validation and appreciation from time to time which keeps the hope alive yeah in fact yeah. we were just discussing your previous yeah. work with the team and they were like i remember in this mm-hmm. i think the last time i told you about how much i liked him do much on the that's you. actually the first you thing i told him show. the first time yeah, i met him yeah. i love this guy amir was amir, it yeah. yeah what a show <laughs> i used to have a pink band in my school oh, <laughs> hey, so sweet i'm <laughs> sure what <laughs> would they if they see it they'll be very happy to hear no absolutely <laughs> You know there was a recent incident that happened where um, at an event you were sitting behind and it was so amazing to see how audiences took this person and wanted you to sit ahead and everyone spoke about it what do you have to see when you see this kind of things where the smallest of incidents are personal for your fan I have nothing to say you know I mean I'm glad that I was there I'm glad I found the seat uh, and I was I was around such wonderful people I really don't see it that way hmm. Yeah so what mattered to me was as i said my chi- achieving my childhood dream was far more important for me absolutely yeah. and lastly i have to talk about the uh, scene that was my favorite and i'm sure everyone's was the scene when he comes to know that he 
passes it's stuck in my head <laughs> matlab uh, when you just nod there's no expression and something in your body language changes i got goosebumps <laughs> in that scene what was the briefing given to you all what did with sir say and how do you all get so much into the skin of manoj and shraddha <laughs> that scene i just feel i think avidhu sir gave us a lot of liberty in that scene per se specifically that scene i feel mm-hmm. vidhu sir had given us a lot of liberty he just he just had faith in us and he just let it flow mm-hmm. so uh, most of what you see in that scene is what we're truly feeling mm-hmm. because it was it's the climax of the film and like i've said before that i've played the character of shraddha but i also have related to manoj's character a lot because my journey is also it's like if you have a big dream wherever you you come from you have your own struggles so i've mm. related to manoj's dream also and this the whole film has come to a climax so i've lived with this character with kran's character manoj so it was a very personal feeling personal victory of sorts and i think i don't know how it happened how it happened and i like you said it's become like the scene of the film and so everyone just yeah. the moment that scene arrives everyone's crying yeah. so i i really don't know i think i would just give credit to vidhu sir for creating an atmosphere like that which was so real that uh, it just sort of happened like did you all shoot that towards the end most of the film was shot in yeah, sequence in sequence in sequence so most linear thought yeah, yeah i would yeah. say 80 85% of the film was shot in sequence so by the time we were filming that portion hmm. we had actually gone hmm. through so much so already much. Yeah. so the exhaustion if you actually see was the way you fall real. down oh, sure, oh my yeah. god almost real. yeah yeah amazing and lastly was there any uh, kind of competition on who's getting more notes from vidhu sir <laughs> notes as in 20 rupees 20 rupees i don't know yeah uh, no, no. No, there's no competition but the first time i got 100 i have shown it to everybody <laughs> yeah. on set i've I gone and shown it to everybody no. <laughs> and i showed it to ikran listen i got 100 100 <laughs> rupees we're just getting 100 in front of ikran was like a big feat for me <laughs> how much did you earn मैंने ओवरऑल फिल्म के एंड में कुछ 380 कमाया मेरे ख्याल से हां दैट्स अ वेरी गुड एवरीबॉडी या आई इज आई हैव नॉट कैलकुलेटेड माय नाउ आई नो दैट ही इज इन कैश हिज आई हैव टू गेट माय 20 रुपीस का अकाउंट पूरा हिसाब है पूरा हिसाब लेके आना है नो बट दैट्स लवली इट मैटर्स सो मच एंड आई इट्स सो लवली हाउ ही रिवॉर्ड्स यू ऑल बिकॉज़ इट्स अ वेरी थॉटफुल थिंग बट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर सिनेमा फॉर योर परफॉर्मेंसेस एंड एवरीथिंग आई हैड विशिंग यू बोथ ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट कांट वेट फॉर मी थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच आई नो लवली Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, lovely meeting you. Hi guys, I'm Vikrant Masi. Hi, I'm Idha Shankar. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Instant Bollywood. Yep.